Bitmonkey, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Gang, should we do a comic book haul? Let's do a comic book haul. I know spreadsheet. I didn't make a spreadsheet or anything. It's two lots I bought from the same seller. I've never bought from this seller before. Okay. And he didn't tighten up the box, the, the comics in there. So the comics have been banging around on their way to me. I'm not happy about that, but we'll crack them open to see what how they are crack how are you doing thought i smelled something <laughs> pulpy comic goodness pulpy comic goodness you're gonna love uh one of the lots in this you're gonna love one of the lots in this. oh my god the cats are going crazy the treats must have uh, had a little bit of crack in them cold shower or for psycho mass no thanks <laughs> i like my warm showers man uh what's in the box what's in the box let's take a look do you have any alan moore comics indeed cyanide for dinner indeed i got alan moore comics i got some of the original alan moore um swamp things and i got the first appearance of john constantine the first cameo and the first appearance i got the i got alan moore i got watchman um v for vendetta uh i got alan moore you gotta have alan moore you gotta have Alan Moore and some of the newer stuff as well. Imagine there's a dead squirrel in that box and she shot got scam. <laughs> It'll make for a great live stream. <laughs> Do you give your cats catnip? Ah, uh, you know what? They they're not really into catnip, sleepy waves. And gang, before we crack this open, don't forget free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, and our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on SensorTube. Bitmonkey, somebody just opened the box. I make an LCD, open the Pandora. Schlosser <laughs> Squirrel Craig agreed. You got to have some Alan Moore in your collection. Indeed, hey Chicho. Uh, Lord of Iron, how are you doing? Watchmen TV series is off my list now. Nice. It was a good series, man. Heard it's a super political. It, it, you know what? It was a good. No, 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 no. Watch it. It's pretty good, man. Elder God. It's a good series. Watch it. No, 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 no. Don't get turned off because of the left thing. It's a really good series. This way. I gotta tell you what these, how much these comics cost too. There's two lots in here. You put them in bubble wrap, but <laughs> like, why? Why would anybody do this? Like, it, it it's a no-brainer. Pack them in tightly. Like, just put paper in there. Look at this. There's nothing like it's it's loose, right? Like they've been banging around on their way here. Mm. Mm. Like the guy seemed like a really nice guy. He's a really nice guy, but seriously, you gotta you gotta tighten the stuff up. Like this is what he put in there. <laughs> this what the hell? <laughs> what? That is the most R thing I've ever seen. That is insane why would you do that that's crazy that's crazy hey chicho and chat also she said yes she said yes lord of iron. oh look at the kitty cat lord of iron she said yes you proposed yeah the watch is incredible crack says yeah never seen white root come out of man's face white root i like the movie by snyder more mm. uh, a watchman uh, the movie was amazing Okay, Chicho and Greg. Congratulations, by the way, Lord of Iron. Woohoo! When's the? When is the? What is it? Tie in the knot. Greetings, Doctor P. How are you doing? He probably was Russian. Man, I don't know. You you don't you don't ship comic books anything in a box that's banging around. Why? Like it, it takes like he, he took enough care to pack them up like this, right? Why wouldn't you just put paper, like something just to tighten it up, right? It's a no-brainer. I, I I don't think I'll be buying from this guy again. Okay. Hopefully I can leave him a positive comment, but I will send him an email saying, "Look, man, come on. It, you, you gotta you gotta pack him in tightly." <laughs> uh, 
empty how do how do the bookshelves behind you not collapse under the weight of uh of comic uh they're well the graphic novels and i built the bookshelf so i made sure it's tight right i made sure it was a, it was a good bookshelf solid bookshelf right so what you see behind me i put together and if you've seen the long version of it uh, so i knew what it was going to put in there and i built it accordingly right what make are they uh you mean the wood it's just um two by two by eights i bought and i put it together right? it's plus no newspapers exactly i just put bubble wrap paper anything right it makes no sense to me they're similar a smaller smaller box but just put it in a smaller box that's it like why would you do that crazy okay let me tell you about but the first lot or the second lot i guess now i bought this lot because um because i bought the the other set first and it was 25 dollars shipping with the other set and i looked at the stuff and i i wanted to include something else to distribute the cost of the shipping so you know i grabbed this lot and i'm happy to get it it was a fair price it was it was like going price right uh have you received damaged comics oh, yeah for sure i've received damaged comics before unfortunate not often but it's unfortunate when it happens what's a tip on winning ebay auctions uh be patient be patient i always lose <laughs> bid higher if you always lose a bit higher <laughs> i want to start collecting something like you but uh but most stuff is digital now ah uh, yeah i don't go for digital i don't do digital collectibles not even crypto collectibles right crack i'm thinking of doing a custom book case as well chicho i should message you friend uh brother two by eights two by eights get uh little brackets the um you know the brackets that go like this just the l-shaped right uh you screw them in and make sure you're against the wall and lock it in i just go overboard right lock it in i know i'm putting books in there it's going to be heavy and uh is i just do that i take my time i put on music i enjoy it i appreciate it i build it custom you know i make enough room for the switches if the switch is there and i and i change up the heights uh and i don't make them all the same height because certain books are taller than other ones right so i change up the heights um that's the way i go about it let's find out how are you doing i always enjoy sorting by uh ending sooner a bit five seconds left it's a fun game yeah and and bit last second there's some experts out there that i'll, I'll be at but i think they're running programs to do it it's a truly dream to have a comic shelf like that i'm planning to do one in the future cool 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 sorry i don't know english i'm from latin america salutes this mexico Sal salutations from canada to our mexican brothers and sisters gang let me show you what we got in this one this lot the shipping was free on this one but basically 25 dollars shipping for everything okay this lot was incredible hulk okay it cost 40 dollars canadian which is i don't know what it is us uh, right now it'd be um 32 dollars us okay so this is the lot we got we got incredible hulk number one to nine by J jason aaron number one is the second print hulk number one and two by mark wade marvel knights hulk number one and totally awesome hulk number one two six for 32 dollars us hulk out let me show you this this is the second print of the incredible hulk by jason aaron yeah by jason aaron and jason aaron is one of the top uh, comic book writers right now glare on this the comics don't seem to be damaged you know it's it's the other lot that i'm i'm more concerned about incredible hulk number two jason aaron cool shark cover Rawr. chicho asmr were working <laughs> I've thought about doing uh, a couple of other shells but uh, i'm holding off right now this is a beautiful cover incredible hulk number three 
I haven't read this one. Nice cover. Really. The covers of these are really nice. This isn't... Uh, Jason Aaron is great. Yeah, crack. Like, Jason Aaron is a phenomenal writer. Incredible Hulk. Number four. Yeah, I didn't know he did Hulk run either. <laughs> I, I bought this lot mainly for the... Uh, totally awesome Hulk. Who's the artist? The artist is uh, there's Jason Aaron, Willis Portacio, uh, Alan Martinez, Aref uh, Pianto, and Benny uh, Benny Malun Malana. What percent of the comics you buy, sell, do you read? What percent? Very small percent. Very small. I read a lot of comics, by the way. But there's no way, like, I'm not even close to, maybe I've read like 20% of my collection. Not even, not even. Since I started making comic book videos, I sort of bought a lot of comic books. This one is uh, number six. Beautiful covers. Like, I read comics every day. Okay. Number seven. Wallet, how are you doing? Number 7.1. Still the first print. I don't know why it was 7.1. Ah, Gravity, you were watching Rocky IV. Awesome. Incredible Hulk, 50th anniversary. Stay gray. Part one. This is Incredible Hulk number eight. Lovely covers, lovely covers. Right. Let me do this. I'm gonna move the chat over, gang. Doop. I'm moving the chat over. Doop. And I'm gonna move the notifications over so they don't get in the way of the covers. Incredible Hulk number nine. Aaron, Ferry, and Bartolf. I just went to the bookstore and saw an entire collection of Sandman comics, and this dude grabbed them before I could. What do you mean? Like graphic novels for sale? Or the single issues? Here's Hulk uh, one shot number one. Oh no this is the uh wade's hulk hulk number one mark wade is a hit and miss in terms of writer goes okay cyanide for dinner but why do you, do you buy comics if you don't read them back uh, uh back in day do you always think think of collecting i i buy them because i do read them i like collecting comic books it's also an investment uh, you know, we've talked about this and we've done ASMR math videos on this. I'm going to do more real. I'm seeing Mike. How are you doing? Uh, art has been one of the greatest places where you could have parked your money. Here's the one shot shot Marvel Knights Hulk, Joe uh, Kittinge, Petri Pio, Pio I'm not even going to pronounce it. These are the people that are working on this. Marvel Knights. Does Bars and Noble sell comics too? Yeah, they sell graphic novels. Right? <gasps> Single issues from 2 to 15. Oh, what did he pay for them? Man. Number 2 to 15, that includes the first appearance of Death, first appearance of Luth Lucifer, first appearance of a lot of the characters. Whoa. Here's a totally awesome Hulk, number one. And I've read this. It was fun. It was fun. And uh, I read a $1 copy of this. I bought it for $1. Our comic book store was selling it. But this is fetching a higher price now. Uh but it was a fun read. I've read the first uh, two or three issues of this. 
uh, but the the ones I had they weren't in good condition All right. this is in really good condition like it's in mint condition let's crack it open let's see let's crack it open yeah mark ways daredevil i read a little bit crack really good need a little light on this so take a look it's in really good condition near mint condition so cool okay good good those marvel nice mini series are fun are they i haven't read them crack here's number two Saga from Image Comics. Saga, I've read a little bit. Very good. A couple of issues, but uh, need to read more. I need to read the whole series. Silva. Number three. Fin Fang Foom. One of the big evils in Marvel. I've read a lot of Saga. Yes, I really enjoyed it, but I didn't keep up. Totally Awesome Hulk. Number four, kissing, nice. Totally awesome Hulk, number five. Totally awesome Hulk is getting uh, slapped around by the ladies. Who's that girl with Hulk? Uh, I don't know. I'll show you. Here's totally awesome Hulk getting smacked around by Lady Thor. Right. Here's totally awesome Hulk with uh, the Encha Enchantress, I think. I forget. Um, oh, what's her name? Uh, crack. What's what's her name? Enchantress. In. And this is the girl, I think, that you're mentioning. Lady Hellbender. Sitting in a tree. Uh -huh. Hulk and Lady Hel Hellbender. I guess this is Lady Hellbender. And Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange gang. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, and our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censored. This was the extra lot we got. $32 Canadian, uh, US, $40 um, Canadian. It's Enchant en Enchantress, DC. I can't remember. No, Enchantress is Marvel. Marvel. I believe it's Enchantress. En en Enchantress. Can't even pronounce it. Looks like th uh, Thor's sister. Is it? No, that one is. Uh, I don't think it's Thor's sister, but Enchantress was in Suicide Squad. Hey, well, they sometimes have the same name. You're right. I Googled to confirm. Did you? Okay, cool. cool. Now, let me put this bubble thing here so the kitty cats don't get to it. Let's crack open this next. This is the, this is the important one. Oh, this is important too. Hot mom, how are you doing? How are you all today? I think everybody's doing pretty good let's crack open this one this one cost $80 Canadian okay and then there was $25 shipping which was distributed between these guys so $25 shipping uh, and $120 uh, total so the total was oh sorry hundred and forty five dollars Canadian was 
uh, the cost of this whole shebang and these books here were eight dollars Canadian 80 times eight so sixty four dollars US okay sixty four sixty five sixty six dollars US rolling or loud is that a band now this is a comic book series it's issue number one to issue number one to 11 i believe okay issue number one to 11 <laughs> issue number one to 11 and i have this this series not all of it but i don't think i have the whole series no i don't have the whole series it runs for 42 issues this series i believe it's 42 issues it's an independent comic book series crack have you guessed what it is yet <laughs> it's an independent comic book series and it's a comic book series that i have been recommending very much i have to change the bag on this ready this comic book series number one to eleven okay is it no it's independent it's abstract studios abstract studios crack abstract studios who is it it's some it, it's back there no it's not strangers in paradise I, if it, it wouldn't be eighty dollars, if it was eighty dollars, Abstract Studios, uh, number one first appearance, it's 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 Rachel 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 Rising Rachel Rising, check this out. First print should be first print. We're gonna crack it open. Okay, Adventures of Chicho. <laughs> Wait, I know them rachel rising number one this is the bag is dirty rachel rising rachel rising let's crack open number one we're gonna take a look at it they looked a, in mint condition except for number one number one's got, got a couple of things in it okay but it was pretty sweet sweet copy it's a pretty sweet copy for the price here's the blemish All right. so take a look i show it to you yeah th this is a great series pick it up the price is kicking up huge okay so number one okay and pretty good copy right this part here was the problem with it right let me see if I can ill focus or not. See that little scrape there? Okay, that guy right there. Okay. Otherwise, nice copy, nice copy. Very nice copy. Here's the back. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> don't hurt the comic chicho what are you doing crazy did we put any dents in it no nothing on the back uh... <laughs> i might have put a thing in it or something <laughs> like a little the thing but no not bad it's pretty good not damage from gem 10 to 9 <laughs> one second <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is <laughs> yeah i damaged them a little <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is but still very happy to get it it's at least the 8.5 right at least an 8.5 right what have i done what have i done <laughs> haven't seen 
your streams in a year. God damn deployment. Oh no, deployment. It's for Chicho. I'm reporting this to the comic council. I know, I know. What was I thinking? Let's see. So that's it's not a bad copy. It's a good copy. It was a better copy before I dropped it. <laughs> that was like five dollars down the drain. That was like a little bit more down the drain. That was a little bit more down the drain. Okay. So hold on, let's put this baby here. Let me show you the other ones. I'm gonna crack open number two as well. I'm gonna crack open number two as well. Delete the stream. No, it's part of the game. It's part of the whole thing, right? I'll be careful and more careful next time, right? Yeah, nice. Yeah, these are at least 9.2, right? So this is Rachel Rising number two. We all saw nothing crack <laughs> Here's the back cover. It's at least a nine actually like oh no let's say 8.5 8.59 the number one okay so number two this is a great series gang if you haven't read this read it okay if you like uh epic <laughs> if you like epic let me make sure the box doesn't fall over here's number three okay yeah shit happens generation indeed elder god ah. <laughs> here's number four nice uh that's the grade uh, uh cyanide for dinner so when i say 8.5 that's 8.5 out of 10 right and 10 is like a pure gem and the prices vary according to the grade so for example let's assume here let's assume racial rising number one let's assume this is 8.5 graded 8.5 now i bought the whole lot for 80 dollars canadian right 8.5 racial rising man it depends if you if you're looking at buy it now prices they're like eighty dollars for an eight point five, right? I saw an auction of Rachel Rising number one in near mint minus condition, which would be like nine point two, right? Go for fifteen dollars US. I couldn't bid on it because the guy was going through eBay's global shipping program. There's no way I'm gonna go through eBay's global shipping. Very unfortunate, right? If the person, the seller in the United States was not going through eBay's global shipping program for the comic that he sold for fifteen dollars, I was willing to pay forty dollars let's say thirty dollars right he would have doubled his money okay but let's assume this thing graded at 8.5 you can buy for thirty dollars right forty dollars right a grade of nine would probably cost you around sixty dollars a grade of 9.2 would probably cost you around seventy dollars eighty dollars a grade of 9.4 probably costs you about 150 dollars a grade of 9.6 will probably cost you 200 plus dollars a grade of 9.8 probably costs you around three four hundred dollars or that's what it's going for for buy it now auctions if you can get it at a cheaper price fantastic um, that's why i shoot for the auctions this is rachel rising number five i should be playing gta right now you should be playing gta gta will be there all the time chicho live streams comic book calls um, often but not as often as you can play gta number six number seven yeah the covers beautiful beautiful he's an amazing artist terry moore Number eight, 
amazing epic series and supposedly this has been optioned for a tv series or a movie it should it would have to be a tv series there's no way you could cover all this what goes on in the series in uh, in a movie like it's not gonna happen right beautiful cover beautiful cover indeed right. and terry moore all of his series all the comics that he's put out the main characters for all the series are female and majority of characters the male characters are female there's a handful of male characters powerful female character writing welcome to summer everyone <laughs> it's, it's a horror it's it's horror it's uh, epic it's mythology huge mythology huge mythology beautiful series the prices for these have gone up a lot especially for Rachel rising number one uh, a couple of years ago we picked up Rachel rising number one to 20 for $14 US in mint condition right the reason we picked it up was because I think the person that listed it spelt it wrong so I was the only person that bid on it the shipping costs more than the uh, the comics uh, no I haven't read witches I've heard good things about it we trade everything uh, to watch a Chicho stream <laughs> not everything not everything I walk with monsters still uh, plagues my mind yeah elder god I was the walk with monsters for like three days I was like heavy may need a number two read uh, number maybe maybe i walk with monsters we did a reading of i walk with monsters brilliant number one issue first issue what a powerful comic and the artwork was simple but just caught the moment of this of what was happening amazing storytelling highly recommended as well right independent horror comic books uh are is where it's at like really because they don't they don't have the corporate censors saying no 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 you can't show this you can't talk about this you can't write about this because independent creators just like independent content creators independent streamers independent newscasters they can tell you the truth right they they don't they're not obliged to corporate power right they can tell the stories they want talk about whatever they want share their love their hate their respect for whatever it is that is in their lives without corporate censors pre preventing them from speaking their mind right hence one of the reasons i support independent comic book creators much much more than the big two right so that's my recommendation to people and independent content creators videos and and whatnot that's where i get my information entertainment most of it right oh god for me it had a very 70s vibe to it i mean though visual instead of words yeah very visual instead of words finger finger round finger round loafing loafing around loafing around i had to figure that out loafing around how are you doing the subject show hope you're keeping well good sir doing well thank you very much i plan on after this stream going into the patio and planting some uh some herbs and whatnot uh taking uh, you know spending time in the garden fun how long you been how long you been live gang up time up time we've been live for 45 minutes 45 minutes i hope you guys are doing well gang i'm very happy to have this uh i shouldn't have dropped racial rising number one what was i doing c'est la vie 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 good thing we got a really good copy uh, of it as well very happy to have this as well and i'm still looking up to pick up racial rising at a good price uh, it's on my watch list there are certain comic books that I'm buying multiple copies of because not only do I love reading comic books not only do I love collecting comic books not only do I love sharing comic books not only do I love the stories 
that are being told through comic books not only do i love the art the variety of art that we see in comic books i also love investing in comic books because it is art it is a collectible it is human history it's a human artifact and collecting art art has been one of the greatest places you could have invested your money okay may it be comic books may it be original paintings original artwork may it be toys may it be collectibles end of story right so it connects up to investing in personal finance and since creating videos on comic books and live streaming i love sharing these things with you guys so it's a win 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 all right why would i not do it Cheryl, I had two days of dirt manicure this past weekend. Exactly what I needed. Total attitude. Just, yeah, Cheryl, I, I've been spending time in the patio as well. It's looking lush. I took some pictures in the last couple of weeks. I never shared those pictures. And since then, like strawberries are out. Uh, gooseberries are out. Raspberries are coming out. So good. So good. Uh, black currant is coming out. Amazing having dirty hands. Oh my God! The comic police are on way. <laughs> Please stay in your current location. <laughs> Loafing around. If you find a good comic book uh, listing, how can you send send it? If I find a good comic book listing, how can I? How can we send it your way uh, through Discord? Right? You can message me as well. And I, I've I've seen some amazing comic books being listed, but I can't buy them because either they're in the UK. And the shipping to Canada is insane. Or they're in the U.S. and they're shipping through eBay's global shipping program. And I'm not going to go through there unless unless it's an amazing deal and whatnot. All right. So uh, share it through Discord. If I don't buy it, someone else might. Right. Which is great. Share some images. I will. I will load up some images of the of the patio. Uh, I need to. I need to. I've just been really busy doing other things, right? Sharing the videos. Gang, should we call the stream? I haven't set up another, uh, I haven't put my schedule in yet. I'm still going through the videos. I'm going to be loading up a lot of little short segments from the previous streams that we did that I want to load up. Uh, so I'm sort of uh, managing my time on that front. And I'm still archiving some stuff uh, on the website and doing some back end work. Okay. Okay, I honestly have been doing terribly mentally, and when I saw your notification, it really made my whole day. Thank you, Chichi. my my pleasure, man, my pleasure. Thank you for being here. Uh, by the way, gang, I saw a lot of follows and stuff go through. Thank you very much for the follows. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the discussions. Movies, please. I know there's two movies I still need to watch. One of them is The Lighthouse. Uh, I've been going crazy with the animation. Uh, uh, my hero academia we're in season four now I, I think we have to finish the season before i can get into something else and i'm going through um demon uh demon slayer and i'm on the last four episodes of demons so as soon as i finish demon slayer and the demon slayer movie and then i'm going to watch the two movies that we're supposed to watch and then we do two movie streams back to back because we're going to talk about the movies we recommended we had picked to watch and recommend new ones it needs to be done it needs to be done i think in the next stream we're going to announce we're not going to have a stream this week gang uh, apologies because i'm doing a lot of work in the gardening busy with the students this june so their exams and stuff and uh i'm putting out the short videos uh but as soon as summer comes and you know in a couple of weeks uh, next week we're going to have streams for sure but we're going to kick up the streams into high high gear mode again in the summer okay definitely outside in the patio I need to watch three of them, but I will watch them fresh. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been holding off watching them so I can watch them just before the stream. Uh, that's my plan. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, is, uh, uh, my, my, my Hero Academia is amazing. Yeah. And so is Demon Slayer. Yeah. The movie left me. Spe oh, man. Don't tell me anything about the movie. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. No, I don't want to know. Uh, right? I, don't, I, should, I should do this. I don't want to know. I don't want to <laughs> I'm going through it speeding Gonzalez because there's been some people saying that it's amazing. I want to make sure I don't get any spoilers going into it. 
amazing Demon Slayer, the series. And my, my Hero Academia gang, amazing heart, amazing heart. Both of them, Demon Slayer and my, my Hero Academia, so much heart, so much love, so much truth in both these series, so much of it that it's it, it they are must watches and they put hollywood to shame to shame the garbage majority of the stuff coming out of hollywood or mainstream propagandists just pure garbage and you compare that to my hero academia and demon slayer amazing 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 gang let's call the stream thank you for being here quick outro i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chicho if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about which is really layered on mathematics patreon is a great way to do so and for those of you who are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this uh Alaga sage are trying to stop 21st century uh 21st june freedom <laughs> they better not they better not nice my pleasure i uh, post movie discussion finally convinced my kiddo that he needs to watch cowboy bebop with me nice and almost more importantly that he should uh learn uh test oh the the a tank on base nice the theme song for cowboy bebop yeah 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 oh man if i was a drummer if i still knew how to drum that's one track i would have worked my ass off trying to learn it tank the theme yeah 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 what a great the soundtrack for Sa uh, samurai shampoo is nuja bass samurai shampoo cowboy bebop and space dandy space dandy soundtrack was good but samurai shampoo and cowboy bebop amazing amazing right the art is breathtaking it's not watching anime at this point it's watching a museum a true piece of art gang we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live C -H -Y -C -H -O -L -I -V -E. if you want to participate in the chat which is happening over here actually twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussion thank you for being here mods as always thank you for taking care of business him on bass me on banjo <laughs> sure if you did well there's a lot of trumpets a lot of horns in the tank right what a track man i feel like cranking that right now they are remaking highlander i won't have this uh oh, highlander the original one was amazing uh i do announce these live streams 30 minutes or just before we go live on mines vk gap and parlor and parlor is having hiccups up the yin yang so follow the work on mine and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want in the chat type an exclamation mark social and we do have a discord page where you can share information tan 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 zon zon tan <laughs> the last time i was here we were talking politics i think i meant to ask you an off-topic question you were ever university professor in your lifetime no i i couldn't be an academic uh i i'd be tan 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 zon uh i would uh i wouldn't last long in the field of academia i already i would already bang i would when, during university i would bang heads with my professors i would call them call them out for their bs right <laughs> i threatened to take one professor to the dean i said i because i was trying to take a course and you have to get it approved by your advisor and he wouldn't sign sign off this course for me to take he said oh it has nothing to do with the field you're in i go i don't care i just want to take it all right he goes i won't sign it i go what are you talking about it's my money i'm paying to come to this university to take courses this is an elective i want to take this course he goes i won't sign off on it i said you won't sign off on it i'll go to the dean and talk to them and make you sign off on it <laughs> he wasn't happy about that i took two courses with him next time next semester <laughs> he tried to fail me on the stats course 
<laughs> you have this professor presence that you bring to the room. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Chicho withdrew professor out of the window, or it's not just me. I went to university. I oh, Waterloo. And by the way, it was amazing. I had amazing professors as well. Don't get me wrong, right? There were amazing professors I had, but there was also garbage professors, right? Stats was my favorite course. <laughs> Waterloo, yeah. And I, uh, Waterloo, and I got a math minor. I went to University of Toronto. Awesome, awesome. Uh, to i spent some time in to i lived in to a couple of summers during my co-op terms fun i used to go to you all the time man toronto amazing ethnic food greek food korean food japanese food amazing korean food so good korea town oh my god i i i need some korean food toronto is nice but congested congested i used one summer i lived on uh in a tower in on the corner of blur and sherborne smack in the middle of downtown waterloo what did i miss i lived in uh kishner waterloo for a, you wished in kishner waterloo crack really i i went to university in in uh waterloo i went to university in waterloo very good eats in toronto i am chinese but love middle eastern persian food yeah and chinese food in toronto as well right Kishner Waterloo was a fun place to be, man. Fun place to be. And gang, we will be uploading this comic book haul live stream to SensorTube, to Bitchu, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. And for those of you that are supporting this work on those platforms, thank you very much for the support. Crack, you went to, you lived in Kishner Waterloo, so you must have gone to the comic book stores there. Uh, now and then books, right? Lived there around, oh, now was now and then still there? 1999 2004 ish okay okay what's your favorite comic book well oh, i can't say what my favorite is i have a lot of favorites man i got a lot of favorites Tan. Uh, racial rising is one of them what we picked up there's a reason i picked this up right one of my favorite comic books right phenomenal read phenomenal read it, it's a must read if you're a comic book aficionado you must read this series right like if if you like you like read this read the series it's the omnibus it's the complete series of what, what, what i just showed you it's main uh characters are female powerful female characters it starts off as a horror okay i'm giving a little bit of spoilers goes uh mythology biblical it is phenomenal it'll take you for a nice ride and the artwork's brilliant in it right like black and white but brilliant right amazing storytelling sometimes very minimalistic sometimes uh very detailed like look at this right? very minimalistic sometimes right very little text and then sometimes there's lots of text is there a way i can read or purchase e ebooks online if that exists like a yeah for sure most of these books you can buy digital you should be able to buy them digitally 100 percent time okay so there uh, and i've i've read digital comics before and i have a small uh folder with digital comics but i usually like hard you know i like uh holding the comic books and stuff like this because i spend a lot of time on the computer so i want to make sure you know my eyes don't go gaga -ga -ga, right yeah yeah through apple store i believe so i believe so comic comicsology is one of them yeah like crack says uh tad comicsology you can buy a subscription to certain publishers and read everything they have like uh, it's like a netflix type of thing right so you can buy subscriptions and read whatever you want right or buy individual digitals and they go on sale a lot like one of the companies that i love their their superhero if you like superhero is valiant comics valiant comics especially the early 90s stuff when they first came out as well as the 2012 relaunch of valiant comics if you can read 
the original 2012, not the original, the relaunch of the 2012 Valiant comics, highly recommend reading those series. Harbinger, Exo, uh, Archer and Armstrong, phenomenal reads, phenomenal reads. And Bloodshot. Yes, that is exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect. Yeah, check it out, uh, Tan. You should be able to do easy peasy. Okay. Aside from that, gang, thank you for being here. And uh, probably see you guys in about a week uh, for more live streams if I don't get another comic book haul. And there is a comic book haul coming. I'm not sure if it'll be here or not before that. But if it comes, we're going to do a comic book haul. <laughs> Small one. Okay. Uh, aside from that, I'll announce the streams in a few days. Thank you for answering my question in a short period. My pleasure, Tad. I hope you find some comics that you love reading. Bye, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic next few days.